This is Joseph Lebrec, and I'm going to be talking about some of the general improvements to the interface inside of Edge Animate Preview 7, and specifically things around rulers, guides, and the timeline. So let's open up this project, and in here we can see already that we've got some collapsible elements on our properties panel. And this is going to be really apparent if we choose any of these objects. So here we can see I've got almost everything collapsed. And I can expand all this stuff if I want to. And everything looks really nice, really clean, polished at this point. We're able to actually choose uh, a lot of toggles here. So between, let's say, pixels and percentages for a more responsive layout, we're able to see things grouped into their own little modules here. And we're also able to keyframe any of these specific properties that we might want to keyframe. So this is just a general change overall. There's just a lot of polish to this particular release. Some of the more specific things you'll notice is that we do have rulers. So we have a ruler along the X and the Y axis. And we also have guides. So these are our guides here. And the guides are interesting because we can have both percentage and pixel-based guides. These guides here are all pixel-based. So let's pull that out just from the ruler and put it in the center. And now if I right-click on this guide, you can see that it tells me it's a vertical guide at 252 pixels. So if we need to make adjustments to make it 250, we could always move it over a little bit. But we can also convert the guide to percentage guide. So then it shows up as this sort of teal color. And you can, of course, if I can click on it here, convert it back to pixels if we want to. You'll notice that we also have this scrollable content here. So we can scroll up past the stage if we have different things in this area here that are animating in. It's a lot easier to work with objects that are off stage now. If I need to recenter, I can just click this little center of the stage icon and easily recenter. I have my zoom controls, so if I need to bump it out like that, recenter, I can do so, and so forth. So some of the other improvements we have, if we go to our view menu, we're able to lock the guides, and of course we can still choose to have smart guides or not when we're dragging objects around. We can also snap to guides or simply turn the guides off, turn the rulers off, and so forth. Sort of similarly, inside of our timeline, we've got the ability to have a grid. So I just turned it off, I can toggle it back on, and we can also choose to have that grid display at one second, half a second, or quarter second increments. And it'll change based on our settings. We can also have the timeline elements snap to those grid positions if we wish. So this has been a general overview of some of the overall improvements in the look and functionality of the application, and also some specific useful additions like rulers, guides, and timeline snapping.